In this series of vlogs, I will discuss how, together with our international partners, we use oral history in the management of our shared maritime heritage. Oral history is a method used to collect, preserve and interpret the experiences and memories of people and communities who have taken part in or witnessed past events. Now a maritime archaeologist tries to create a narrative or an understanding of our past relationship with water researching different material including shipwrecks and other objects and if available historical documents. But what if there are already these stories going around from the people who actually interacted with and experienced maritime heritage that we wish to preserve? As these stories, this oral history that gives us new information but also allows us to appreciate this heritage from a whole new level of significance. Take for example the oro history and intangible heritage related to the Kanremaru. The Kanremaru was a small wooden warship that was built in Kinderdijk in the Netherlands and was delivered to Japan in 1857. It wrecked in 1871 near Kikunai Hokkaido. While a search for its wreck launched in 2019 yielded no results, the Cultural Heritage Agency of the Netherlands and Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology collected stories from different heritage communities related to the Kanremaru. Among the people interviewed were the Munakata family, whose ancestor Admiro Kimura led the Kanemaru crew on the prestigious voyage to the United States of America in 1860. In previous years, Admiro Kimura had been the headmaster of the Nagasaki Naval Training School, where he acquired a lot of his skills from Dutch naval personnel. And Mr. Mazai explained how young Masano Shinkozuki, his ancestor, was accepted to the same naval training school, all thanks to the work of his older brother. Masano Shinkozuki even went on to serve on the Kayomaru, another Dutch-built Japanese warship. So by collecting these and other stories of these actually experienced events, we reveal different layers of significance, which can become very personal indeed. And it reminds us that each person or group experiences this heritage differently, and that it's multivocal. Well, if you're interested, check out our Maritime Stepping Stones database where you can find more information about the Kanemaru, but also on other interesting heritage sites. More on our history in the next vlog.